So when I am teaching you about the facts of life, you got the right to always have an opinion. You got the right to always have an idea, have an inquiry, have an inquiry questions to be like, well, mom, why is this? Why is that? Why is this? Why is that? I don't understand why life is like this. Why does it just seem like it's not fair? And you're supposed to be doing it. So while I'm still here in the flesh and you can literally touch me, see me, you have to show that you're really listening because when your mother is gone, you cannot call me on the phone. You can't hit me up on messenger. You can't text me and be like, Hey mama, how you doing? Mama, I love you. Mom, you know, I was thinking about the other day, you know, when me and you, how we would go out to bingo and whoop the whoop. You're going to only have those memories. You're not going to be able to. That's why it was so hard when your grandmother died, because no matter how I was so sensitive, the way she would give me tough love, I still cared about her opinion. I still cared about how she viewed me. And I really respected and honored her strength. So that's what I'm trying to get you to see that you got to get that, that tough skin. You got to get that spiritual armor around yourself and, and, and ask for your spiritual gifts to come on, come on deck and to be live at five. You have to ask for that because this world is, or, or let, let the most high know, let your creator know, let spirit know that you are very well aware that the trajectory of this world is not getting in light. It, some of us are elevating and evolving, but a lot of us are choosing to be bought out. We go to the door to get the pamphlet for the rent that they do around here. And they literally have an insert trying to coerce people to go get the vaccine. You see what I'm saying? So when people are basically sleep, under the illusion that there's nothing really actually changing other than something has, you know, affected us in such a way that the CDC and all of them folks, the who, the, the WHO and all of that, Fauci, all of them are saying that we need to get vaccinated in order for us to protect ourselves, our family and loved ones and friends excuse me, from getting this deadly virus. So from everything you saw when I was doing my each one teach ones, when I was doing the live streams, everything that you saw me playing on the television for everybody else to witness and talking and everything too, you know, things should be rolling in your head in a different way or percolate in your spirit in a different way. Because again, I'm not going to always be here. It is just like when I told Neil, mama is not always going to be here. So when you choose to, to not allow maturity to take over and help you to elevate and grow to where God destined for you to be, then you only hinder your happiness or your contentment with life here on earth. You hinder that. You, put, you place obstacles in your own way. Because what you think is more important really isn't. You find that out as you keep living. When you've been put in a position where you literally have to fight for your rights to just be happy, free, and just like free to love, free to breathe, free to. When you see that your sovereignty, which means that nobody is trying to enslave you or force you to do something against your will. You, when you see that that's what's happening in the world, you can look at a slavery movie from way back in the day and it can affect you because you have that same skin. You feel like that same blood, that same ancestral blood is running through your veins and it'll hit you in the heart space. But then woe is the man that's actually living through slavery. You see what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I always try to get you to understand that when you don't process things, you know, you're not hurting me. You're hurting yourself. 
when you're not realizing like, you know what? I'm hearing my mom, but I'm not hearing my mom because this shit is just way too hard and I don't want to deal with it. I, do, I just want to block it out. Can you turn around and face me while I'm talking to you? I'm hearing my mom, but I'm just, I'm just going to block it out. And a parent knows their children. Know their children. They they know their children. They know how they go behave, how they go act. They know them. We we that's what we were as mothers given that sixth sense to be able to do. Sixth, seventh, eighth, tenth, whatever. We've been given that divine intuition to be able to know something wrong with my baby, something not right. I don't know. She had on some glasses like that. She don't wear no shades. Like what's going on with her? She's been acting different. And then find out that your daughter being getting beat by her boyfriend. This is what I'm saying. So you can never say that, oh, I'm, I'm too smart for that. I'm too, you know, I'm too, I ain't no man going to do no kind of stuff like that to me. And this is why I show you my life and I bear it all. I started that YouTube channel, you know, for you. So you can see it. So when I'm no longer here and if the whole world ain't blacked out and Internet is still available and YouTube is still available, or you do have the ability to get on a computer and archive those videos, you'll be able to see. It in the flesh. I thought about that. I have nothing of me and my mom. Some people literally get to go back and watch home videos. So they can really remember how it felt to be with their dad, with their mother, with their grandmother, with their family. But I didn't get privy to that. I have still photographs. And the kind of photographs is not even explanatory of me like what that moment was. So there's, there's moments that was like captured, but you see me and you was wa watching past life regressions. It was like those moments that are captured on a photograph that your memory can go back to, but yet you still have a disconnection with what exactly you felt like as that six year old child, as that four year old. So I wanted you to have a perspective of this is how me and my mom was with each other. Although I'm not in a lot of her videos per se, I can relate to how I was with my mother because I can see how she is. I was with her. I know exactly, you know, it's kind of like when Bobby Christina lost Whitney Houston. When you watch the movie of Bobby Christina, and I told you to watch that because there's always subliminal messages in the movies and in a spiritual way that God is trying to talk to you. And when you've seen how she, her mama and her was one. So when her mama was gone, regardless of how she, as she started getting into her teenager years, she started having a rift with her mom because she did not understand her mother was about to transition. So when I have these talks with you, I don't be conscientious of, oh, I'm about to die at 49 or I'm going to die at 50 or next year. I don't know these things, but it's when I feel it in my spirit. That I need to let you know things and I need to sh make you be still, quit typing, get off your phone, get off Instagram and pay the fuck attention. Then that's when you need to do just that. So when I tell you like, look, feel what you're feeling, don't stuff it down. Because nobody else in, in your life, whether it be your husband, your kids, your, your good friend that you met and y'all been besties ever since, whatever... It doesn't, they cannot heal your wounds. It doesn't matter how nurturing and loving and everything you can go. Depression is a bitch. Depression will come and snuff out your fucking light. And you literally on a stage with the brightest lights ever blinding you. But you are still so fucking dark. So when you are not expressing yourself, expressing what is making you feel like cry, let it out. When I was sitting right behind you and, and the tears just start welling up. My spiritual insight is getting so strong that I can't even sleep. And I feel other people that I'm connected to. This person, this finna happen, that's finna happen. And you know, it bothers me. Why? Because... God know he placed this kind of heart in me. It bothers me because I want to see them be the best that they can be. Be everything that God, you know, created them to be. But 
Do you know how that feels when you're trying to love somebody and they're trying to kill you? That's what it feels when you love and they hate. That's what it feels like. It's not a good feeling. It's not something you easily get over. And we were talking about it earlier and I said it's spiritual bullying. That's what nar that's what extreme narcissistic personalities are doing to others. It's a spiritual bullying thing that some of them are conscious of that they're doing that. They don't give a shit. They're like, fuck it. Life has thrown me so many hard knocks. Life has done so much shit to me. I don't give a shit. Whoever I can get over on, whatever I can take from them, I'm going to fucking do that shit. I don't give a shit. I ain't worried about that. Like, you know, whatever. I know. I know there's a God. I know. I know. I know that. I know that. But shit, I don't give a shit. I'll just, whatever the consequences is, whatever. It's a lot of those running around on, on the planet. And then there's those that try to act like, you know, they're not really a, a fucking, I don't even want to say a wolf because I feel like wolves get a lot of disrespect about being so, you know, deadly and everything. They, they try to play like they're not, they try to play like they're not actually a, um, oh, let me get a great analogy. Um, they try to play and act as if they're not really a shepherd for the devil. And they, they are so dark that they have no light even in their eyes. They have checked out. That's what it means to sell your soul, lose your soul. It's not there no more. You decided on your path that when you were met and, and let me tell you something about the enemy. It'll, the enemy will come and visit you at different points of your life. When he feels you the most vulnerable to seduce, to, to sign in that contract of, I mean, you know, I can show you the way. I can show you how to get out of poverty. I can show you this. You don't think that's that the enemy always would visit a drug dealer, a a a a, a person, a young man in the projects that would be a, a like a Nino, a Nino Brown, New Jack City. The seduction of like I can give you all of this if you just sell this poison to the people. They're not even being conscientious of. Wait a minute. Like that, that's a pretty good karmic debt right there because I'm literally murdering so many people's lives. Not just that mother. I'm murdering her children. I'm murdering her children's children. See the real true trauma runs deep. So I want to see you catching these lessons. I want to see you being able to, you know what, mom? So, so that's when the praises go up and the mana comes down. That supernatural provisions come down because what, what, what needs to be seen, I believe by our creator is that we, 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 what's the words I say all the time. We recognize the errors of our ways. See, I believe that when we read the Bible and the fact that we don't have a modern version, like, like a hood version and all this kind of stuff. Um, the upper class version, you know what I'm saying? We don't have that. We don't have a e one with Ebonics, you know, one with the proper English, you know, we don't have that. So we have to interpret it. And I believe it was purposely done that way that there was never no real revisions based on here. This one should go to the projects. Yeah. We need, yeah, we need, yeah, yeah. This one can't stay on the shelf. We need to, you know, we got the mass produce it because it's just so many slums all over the world. And then we'll put it in different languages. So for what they're going through, they can see God. That's how you know it is a spiritual journey. It is something you have to go within to not just receive, but to surrender to. Because when you don't express yourself and you are depressed, I'm telling you, depression can, can rear its ugly head as anger. So when it's happening to me so often like that, that's how I can sense that okay, okay, you know, and you, you have no other choice but to surrender 
let go and let God because of the fact that the pressure cooker, the, the pressure cooker that you didn't, that you didn't let every evil, evil thought every, it's not that it's not happening. It really is happening. That is what true magic really is. I believe that's what real true alchemy really is. It's about being able to get to that point where you do get the peace that surpasses all understanding. That to me is the true alchemy of life. So this is why I always want you to pay attention to Ashley. Pay attention to what Ashley feels and never allow life circumstances to cause you to not want to feel. You are going to do mighty things. You are going to heal so many children, so many young women. You don't understand the anointing that is on your life. I'm giving you this prophecy right now, once again, but on a deeper level. You're going to do some things that is going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind because you, you never saw yourself going this route. You never saw yourself. You never saw it. So this whole thing you're going through with me was to groom you to get you ready. You're going to speak in ways that you never heard yourself speak. And I believe spirit is telling me right now, that's the true meaning of speaking in tongues. It's not what we see on the church and the black churches and stuff. The true meaning of speaking in tongues is where you're able to reach a person at the level that they are at. Because everyone is at a different level of their spiritual growth. Does that make sense? So <clears throat> I just wanted you to take out this time and I do these mom and daughter powwows. So when I'm transitioning, I'm gone. You can hear my voice. You can know that you were very loved. You can know that you were very protected. No weapon formed against you shall ever even, I mean, lose they damn scruples to think they would prosper. Because there's an anointing on your life. You're going to do great things. You're not going to worry about money because the things that you're going to be doing to heal other people is going to be making you feel so full on the inside of your heart. That's what true wealth is. Because we're going through this right now. We're still here. We don't like to feel. Like, this This feels like knowing that you ain't got the money for your car note. See, you ain't even went through that. Knowing that you ain't got the money for your car note. And constantly keep looking outside. Because you're so damn scared it's going to be repoed. That's what, it, that's what it feels like. When you living in a government mandated apartment complex. And... All this other stuff that we have unveiled, that I've unveiled on my channel that we're going through. And knowing that the sinister act of the enemy is working through these people to place you under attack. But what God is showing me, again, to come back to the, the, the other uh, mom and daughter powwow about these supernatural provisions. You see what I'm saying? So you have to speak it. Speak it. There's power in the tongue. There's life and death in the tongue. You have to speak it. So that's why the reason why you see when I talk and I'm breaking everything down is because when the feeling comes over me to try to put that darkness in my heart. Because nothing that's happening is make, making any logical sense in my mind. That's when I have to step into my spiritual self. And people make it try to look like it got wings, white wings. and Oh, no. It's actually the angels that got the black wings that are the most. What's the word I'm looking for, spirit? Woo! It's, it's a big word. Um, that I, I see it, angels with the black wings. They're the, they're the least threatening, but look the most scary. Because they're black. See the black, see black is the light. Oh my God. What the hell am I just having a revelation when Quasi was over here? And he's like, you're not black, you're white. 
the light is in the darkness. When you are feeling depressed, you're tired, you like, you whoa, I like every day is some more shit. Why can't we just, whoa, my mom keep on waking my turning the light bulb on in my, in, 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 in my soul. Like, Hey, wake up alarm time. Go off. Is the alarm going off? But I just want to go to sleep and then wake up and we in our new place. And then I'm decorating and everything. And I got my little job. But see, when, when God is putting you on, on your path, when it's time, like, all right, well, you've been, um, you've been, you've been having everything kind of calm, right? For a while. That's when you look at when, the, when they're doing the tarot and it's the tower card. It looked like, damn, all hell breaking loose. They, everybody, people falling out the window, everything. But it's really. Chaos before the calm. Whoever said that the chaos was going to be easy, fun, or anticipated. But that's the beauty of being a chosen one. That's the beauty of being anointed. Because the, 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 the way that you praise. The way that you praise God within the storm. That's when you tell, that's when all them, them ghoulies and everything trying to come at you, they can't do nothing. So I keep hearing spirit telling me, get back to the mu music, get back to the music, get back to the music. And I told myself, okay, you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to flood my channel with good music to, to, to let them know when I say that I am the music oracle, that it was music that changed my life. No, I wasn't a singer. And so, you know, I always could sing. I was three years old. I was singing. You know how you see how they how it happens for them when they do their biographies. But when my mom gave me that little stereo and, 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 and her husband was in there beating on her, abusing her, raping her, then later on start molesting me, that little music box saved me. It, it did something to propel me and have me. You see how the man was like. Okay, you're floating over it. It can't hurt you. I would escape into the music, the frequencies of the music, the melodies, the tones, the lyrics. And it would do something to me. And so I, I played the music every day. And I only had about three records. Played them same records every day. So that's what I'm that's what I mean when I say. You know, you got to stay within your creative. You got to continually fight for your creative peace. And you haven't been creating. You just been stuck in the rut of, okay, what's next job that's going to contact me back? Okay, okay, okay. And even though you're not verbally speaking it, I see it all over you. That's what the whole sleeping is about. Depression also make you don't want to get up. I want to sleep. Leave me alone. Let me sleep, 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 sleep. For me, it's the opposite. I got to be constructively doing something, even if I'm... Buffing on my nails and beautifying them again. I got to be doing something to show me that what? God didn't make no jump. God didn't make no mistakes. I was meant to be here. I was meant to, to walk my path. And that's what spiritual warfare is all about. So you got to go through the motions, feel it, and, and, and get, get real with yourself. And be like, I feel like I'm very depressed. And if you need to cry, cry it out. Because you don't, the reason why you can't get that yuckiness out is because you refuse to recognize it's there. And allow it to, to come up like vomit. You, you have to. Because regardless, if you feeling like, remember when we was watching Black Ink um, Chicago when Four wanted to kill himself? And, and, and they're like tripping like, man, what, what you talking about? Because they couldn't necessarily see it because he going to the parties to get togethers and everything. And nobody really just noticed it. So he was like, man, it's like he felt how he could feel how they would feel if he just killed himself. So that's 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 like the ultimate love to be selfless, to be like, man, I couldn't leave my brother and Ryan and everybody. And I just killed myself. So he just came out and let them know, man. I, I tried to get away from it. I know because I told you that time I was at the bingo hall and that darkness came on me and I wasn't particularly upset about anything, but that I could recognize, but I actually, I was, and I, my eyes welled up. Like, like I felt like I was just going to start just breaking down right there in the bingo hall. 
And that's when I was like, man, I'm not well. I'm not well. And then when I sought help for myself, they want to put me on pills. And it had the audacity to say, well, we don't have therapy, but we have this medicine. It will help you. Um, no, we, you're clinically depressed. You're clinically depressed and you have general anxiety disorder. So if you take this pill, now every time you come back, we're going to take your blood to prove that you've been taking this pill. So had I wanted to go that route to try to get some SSI payments from the government, I could allow them to poison my system. And now I'm probably suicidal, homicidal, every damn thing. When that shit is already percolating in me, not the suicidal part, but the homicidal part. Because I'm sick and tired of people fucking with me and coming for me. I'm sick and tired of it. So at the same time, I'm thinking, how is that going to help me? So guess what my heart said? I got to do something. I, I got to do something about this. God, show me. Right in that moment, I said, God, please show me how I can help other people. Because is this the way these systems set up? Is this why everybody on medication and everything? Like, what, what is going on? And then the actual therapist that contacted me wanted to go sit and have a conversation in a, in a Burger King. I'm like, lady, how is that? How is that even confidential or private with everybody else being privy to what the hell I'm talking about? How, how is that conducive to my therapy? If I'm in an environment where I got to be distracted. Remember when he was in, me and you was in Burger King doing that mukbang and that goddamn man kept coming in there, like walking by. I'm like, I don't know why that damn man keep coming over here. Where, the, where actually is that damn Burger King mukbang? I haven't seen it. It's on my channel. It's on your channel. So I want you to give me, because you know after I talk, you're, you're always quiet on our M&D powwows. I want you to give me three things. Three things that you are grateful for. And speak in a way where people can hear you. Okay. I'm grateful that I'm always being um what's the word I'm looking for? Um basically grateful that I'm always being taken care of in all means, whether it's something that I need or or something Something always come about. There's always something that's going to come and take care of it at the end of the day. Okay. All my, all my needs is met. All right. So you're grateful that you're breathing and you actually have life here on earth. You say you're grateful that all your needs have been met. And what's that third thing? And I want you to think about it. What you are thankful to your creator for. You thankful to God for. Thankful for you. Okay. How, how would I even be grateful for anything else if... if if you didn't birth me into the world. Okay. Right. And so at the end of the day, you know, you only get one mom. And then when you have your babies, you'll really still, you really feel that it feel that much more stronger because of how they run into you. Mama, mama, you, you, I'm telling you, it changes your life on a whole nother level. So I want you to just add this. I'm grateful for my husband, I'm grateful for my children. I'm grateful for my what my mom is telling me that I'm gonna be doing. That is go you. That's your actual career. I want you to just. I'm gonna sum this one up for you to remember that. Cause I don't want you to ever let nothing that we go through cause you to numb yourself and not express what you're feeling. Cause too many people are are medicating themselves with sex. Medicating themselves with with pornography, medicating themselves with sports channels and and horror flicks and all kinds of shit. I've learned so much more about you know what God was always trying to show me and get me still. You know how Medea say, "Peace be still." I see what God was trying to do when He was like getting me to where I wasn't so worried about well who liked me. I want friends. I want to fit in. I've had that problem since I was a little girl. I've been, like I told you, this, this energy has been following my whole entire childhood. So once I got to that point where I was like, I'm a mother, I don't got time to be trying to be 
friends with you or you feel like I'm acting like I'm all of that because I have a daughter that I need to take care of and you want to go out and party and you got to cut people off. You got to cut people off. That's your, that's, that's your path. Go ahead on. You know what I'm saying? And then when I look back on some of these friends from high school or whatever, or school time, when I was in school, I'm like, mm. so I see why God said, no, you're going to be what they would call me boring. No, no, that was Mona used to always say, girl, you like an old damn lady. You're an old damn lady. Okay. So I want to thank everybody for taking out the time on the Goddess of Love Lays It Down podcast to listen to another um mom and daughter powwow with me miss diva y'all check out her channel it is uh right here on my channel as a feature channel um and uh you guys go ahead and start tuning in to a mop no why do i always say the name wrong moss to a flame oracle where i will be doing nothing but reads and prophetic downloads um and you know just anything that spirit puts on my heart for me to share and um so yeah and on oracle to oracle flips the script lies versus the truth that is just like a channel that just has nothing but playlists of all the different things that you can find or you could even imagine would help you on your spiritual journey so for that Go ahead and subscribe to Oracle Flips the Script, Lies versus the Truth. Go through those playlists and, you know, just delve in. It's better than, you know, Netflixing, okay? And, um, yeah, so Moss to a Flame is going to be my reading Oracle channel. Okay, you guys see Goddess of Love TV. And I'm going to be putting out a lot more music on this channel and get away from just dealing with the narcissistic in devil energy, okay? So I love you guys. I love you guys. Y'all know that I love y'all. Y'all stay in wisdom. Peace.